This spawn became one of the biggest winners from the faster respawn of monsters. My name is Goody, and this video is for the Medusa Tower. This spawn is located in Port Hope, and it doesn't require any questing to get there. All you need is a shovel, and then head southeast of the city. Between Port Hope and Shore, you will find this place. It has 6 floors, and you will find mainly behemoths, serpent spawns, omnivoras, and medusas. Even though it's called the Medusa Tower, you will kill the least amount here. But even then, it's still a good place. It used to be worse, but a few years ago, when Simsov implemented the permanent rapid spawn in Tibia to 2x, then it became a viable option to hunt. However, even despite it being a decent spot, it still remains very underrated. One of the biggest pros of hunting in this spot is that you can do 3 tasks for the killing in the name of quest. Usually, by the time you finish 2 Medusa tasks, you will have done 3 of Behemoths and Serpents. Also, since besides those three monsters, you will also kill a decent amount of omnivoras and clay guardians, then it becomes a great spawn for charming. Lastly, there is a good potential for high profits, since there is two creature products that can be expensive on your market. First is the behemoth fangs, which you get by using an obsidian knife on the behemoth bodies. Normally, this will decrease the experience in other situations, but here you do have some downtime going up or down in the tower, so you can skin off the behemoths as you walk through. If you were to stand still after the pull is over, used to skin them off, then the experience will go down. Next up is the Medusa Hairs. These are used for the magic level imbuement, so they will be on high demand, but the price will vary depending on the supply of your server. Now, when it comes to experience, it is not going to be the best spawn. On my new server character, a level 218 and skills 96, I was doing around 1.4kk raw XP, with about 200k of profit from items, and then additionally over 25 fangs the hour with around 6 Medusa Hairs. Keep in mind that this was at a lower level than I am recommending, and during that hunt I was doing smaller pulls, but then on a different character, a level 253 and skills 126, I was doing around 1.8kk raw experience, with around 200k of profit the hour from items, and closer to 30 fangs the hour with over 16 medusa hairs. The big difference of Medusa Hairs came from being able to do the top floor, which I was avoiding on my weaker character. With that I was doing more Medusas the hour, so more chances of looting hairs. I also got up to 2kk raw experience at the start, but with that character, I started to overkill a little bit, so the EXP will go up and down depending on the pulls. And the way I was hunting was of getting to the top of the tower and then run down two floors to make one big pull in the middle. For this floor, the first time coming up, I will split it in two, but after the first lap, I'm able to do the pull in the middle twice, once when going up and then again when coming down, then continue to go down, usually if I start to feel like I'm overkilling, then I go all the way to the first floor and kill the omnivorous and clay guardians there, but otherwise I will stop at the second floor or sometimes even include the first pull going down the stairs to the first floor, after that I run to plus 3 again and do the middle pull, then continue and repeat. Just be careful with the 4th floor and do it in 2 parts. Also, medusas do some heavy life drain attacks, so using garlic necklaces is better than normal amulets, so I recommend doing that, at least for the top floors with the medusas. For the lower ones, I will switch to physical protection. With that said, that's all I got for this spawn. If you want more recommendations, check out my playlist for solo nights. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Thor the Slasher, and Nightstar for supporting the channel.